Okay, so here is a two tricks I'm going to show you today. The first is how to get your lemons and limes to bloom. So you know how a fertilizer, you got MPK and they got three numbers. A lot of times a general purpose fertilizer might be like 10-10-10 or 555 5, 5 or 644, something like that. It's considered a general purpose fertilizer where the numbers are pretty much within a couple of digits of each other, equal across that MPK range. If you want to make something flower though, you need to give it a fertilizer that the middle number is quite a bit higher than the first number and the last number. For a great example, like bone meal, I think it's something like 215-0 or something like that. You can get different formulations. Anyways, so I literally just picked lemons off of this a couple weeks ago. And I gave it bone meal fertilizer. And look, blooms starting to form on it already. Where there's going to be new blooms. All over the place. There's something about that fertilizer combination that makes it bloom. And some fertilizers even just call it fertilizer for blooming plants or something like that. Now, this lime tr tree right here had already started blooming and they it's had blooms on it for like three weeks but none of the blooms are opening up so i went ahead and gave it bone meal and now the blooms are opened up they're starting to open up now with lemon and limes you have to hand pollinate them uh, because generally they bloom in the early part of the year where they can't it's too cold for them to be outside in, in the zone that I'm in. Now, if you're in a warmer zone than me and it's, you know, if your overnight temperatures are above 50 degrees, you could have them outside, but right now I don't have that. So while these are bloomed, I have to hand pollinate them. So, and the way that I do that is I get a Q-tip and I kind of like wiggle around. That one kind of actually looks a little dry. Now I'm going to take it over here and do that one. And even though you can't see it, there's probably just enough pollen on there to fertilize these. So I have to do that. I have to keep an eye on this plant over the next several days as more of these blooms open up. And I'll have to hand fertilize each one of these. If I want to have any kind of fruit harvest, this is what I have to do every year. I don't really see any other ones that are opened up right now. But yeah, so that's what I do with both the lemons and the limes. Again, this thing has got like this thing is going to be loaded with fruit again. Um, and then usually what I do, I just put the Q-tip down in the pot and then I'll reuse it in the future. <laughs> so in a couple, day or two, when I come check it again, I'll do it again. But that's how I hand pollinate my lemons and limes. The key is give them a fertilizer that the middle number is way higher than the other two. Then generally within about three or four days, you'll start to see like this. I just did these last weekend, I think it was Friday. I did it on Friday, today's Monday, so like four days later it's already starting to like develop where blooms are going to be at. This one I had actually had already started blooming on its own, but I gave it that same fertilizer to help it along a little bit quicker. And uh, that's basically, then you just hand pollinate it. Now I know some people use paint brushes, but I just use Q-tips. Q-tips are convenient, I've always got Q-tips. Then I ain't got to worry about buying paintbrushes. So that's the way I do it. Anyways, hope you like this video and you found it interesting. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And uh, as always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.